Let's talk about render engines again and see if we can determine the render engine you should be using in 2022. Now, I'll be comparing three of the most popular render engines, Arnold, Redshift, and V-Ray, as I have been using these three constantly for the past two years. The only render engine that is at the same level of these three is Octane and probably to a lesser degree Corona, but Corona has fallen out of favor a bit due to development promises not kept. Hopefully, it rises again in 2022. For now, I simply don't consider it a modern render engine. As for Octane, I I simply haven't used it regularly enough recently to have a fair opinion on but it is definitely a great render engine that you should consider maybe we can talk about it in a future video this one will compare Arnold Redshift and V-Ray at the end of this video I'll give you my pick for the best all-rounder render engine the fastest engine and the most versatile and robust one this is not a scientific comparison by any means, no benchmarks, no tests, just my own experience working hundreds and hundreds of hours with each of these render engines. Let's see which one is faster, which one gives you the most realistic final look, which one is more user friendly and which one offers a more complete feature set. I'll be trying to keep this video as short and sweet as possible. First, let's talk about speed. We have a clear winner here. Redshift wins this by a mile. I'd say speed is the most important factor when choosing a modern render engine, either during the look dev process or the final render stage. Among these, Redshift is the fastest, V-Ray takes the second place and then comes Arnold. V-Ray is not quite behind Redshift in terms of speed as both of them are biased engines. Still Redshift is faster and Arnold as an unbiased render engine can be considerably slower. I mean you feel it. When you are working on a scene in Redshift adding lights and materials, uh, you know enjoying the speed and then something urgent comes up and you have to switch to Arnold and work on another scene, you immediately feel the difference in speed to your very core. The integrity of the pixel value is simply more important to Arnold than the speed it delivers that value. But especially in the look dev process, speed and interactivity really matters. And Redshift wins the speed game. Vera is not that far behind Redshift, but Arnold is just much slower compared to Redshift. If you want to learn Redshift, Shift, check out our ultimate introduction to Redshift for Cinema 4D course. It's a massive 15 plus hours course. The link is in the description. Now let's talk about the final look. Basically, which render engine delivers the most realistic result? This can be pretty subjective. For me, it's Arnold, then V-Ray, and finally Redshift. Arnold does that by simply being unbiased and the way it handles light interactions. The final look Arnold delivers feels better and more real compared to anything else. V-Ray delivers that natural, desirable final look as well to a certain extent. I wouldn't say Arnold is that much better or is on another level compared to V-Ray but it is enough to notice and redshift is a bit behind in this regard so in terms of realism Arnold takes the first spot then comes V-Ray and finally redshift if you want to learn Arnold check out our ultimate introduction to Arnold for cinema 4d course it's a massive 12 plus hours course the link is in the description Now let's talk about which render engine is more user friendly in terms of UI and UX. Arnold takes the first spot here as well. I'm a bit torn between V-Ray and Redshift for the second spot. Considering all the UI improvements Redshift has introduced in the last few releases like the new basic and advanced mode for the render settings and the new reorganized and streamlined Redshift light parameters. So let's call it even between these two. I say Arnold has the better UI and UX because workflows are not that convoluted in Arnold. Everything is a bit more straightforward. As it is an unbiased render engine, the render settings are simple and very easy to understand and master. A few years ago, there was no comparison. 
both Redshift and Viri had a much steeper learning curve compared to Arnold. Very messy UI, convoluted setups to achieve simple tasks, but that is no longer the case and they both have a much more pleasant UI and UX. But I'd still give an edge to Arnold for having the better UI and UX. Now let's see which render engine is more feature packed. This does not mean only the current feature set that each render engine has, but also which one is faster in adapting to new new industry standards, the quality of features implementation and so on. Arnold and Vray both have CPU and GPU rendering while Redshift is a GPU based render engine. Arnold implemented GPU rendering a bit late but they did it almost perfectly. With a click of a button you can change which version of the renderer you want to use CPU or GPU. You get almost the exact same result no matter which version you use. So you can switch between CPU and GPU rendering and the final result would be the same. You get a one to one pixel perfect result in almost all cases. While V-Ray GPU is considered a different render engine and you cannot just switch between V-Ray CPU and GPU and expect to get very similar results. In terms of pure rendering features, I have to say Arnold takes the first spot again, but V-Ray has some nice features that Arnold does not have or they are not that good in Arnold. Like the frame buffer that V-Ray offers, which is just much better than Arnold's version. With V-Ray, you also get Chaos Cosmos, which is a V-Ray specific 3D asset library with hundreds of high quality models, materials, and HDRI skies ready to be added to your V-Ray scenes. If you want to learn V-Ray, check out our V-Ray Masterclass course. It's a massive 15 plus hours course. The link is in the description. If you were to choose a render engine that adapts to new industry standards faster, you should choose Arnold among these three engines. They were the first render engine to support OCIO and specifically modern ACES color managed pipelines and also you the or universal scene description formats and so on. We haven't talked about Redshift here that much. Redshift is pretty feature packed as well, but recently I feel like because they know people love Redshift because of its speed, they don't care about improving current features or adding new ones. Like for example, the Redshift material needs a big overhaul from the ground up. Arnold did it back in 2017 or 18, I think, when they released Arnold 5. V-Ray did it a few years ago. Even Corona did it when they released Corona 7, but Redshift still uses that old messy main material. Or the lack of a user-friendly proper temporal denoising solution is just not acceptable. But hey, Redshift is the fastest and delivers great results and that's probably the most important thing. At the end, I'd say the best all-rounder engine is V-Ray, the most versatile and robust render engine is Arnold, and the fastest render engine is Redshift. They all are great render engines, depends on what you are looking for in a render. If you want to learn any of them, check out our very own Arnold Redshift and V-Ray courses. The links are provided in the description. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane, and so on. Great, see you in the next next video, happy rendering.